UK unemployment has fallen to a seven-year low. Average pay is up, but not much sign of increasing productivity. Chair of Saxo Capital Markets Nick Beecroft joins me now. Nick, what's your take on this employment report? Yeah, um, I think the key takeaway from the employment report this morning was uh, the encouraging uh, figures for average wage earnings, which uh, continued to beat expectations. And I think that's going to be an unfolding story in the UK. Um, the private surveys have been a lot better than the uh, official Office for National Statistic surveys for a while now, and I think this continues. So, yeah, good news there. Broadly speaking, good news. You know, the, the claimant count change fell slightly less than expected, but minor stuff. The real thing was average earnings was, were good. Nick Sterling has been in a bit of a honeymoon period since the UK election. Do you think this strength will last? Well, I think uh, one of the things we learned from today's release of the Bank of England's quarterly inflation report was that the question of uh, reducing rates, uh, which had briefly uh, come over the horizon earlier in the year when deflation was a real worry, seems to have disappeared. Uh, so that's going to help sterling, if anything. Uh, and I think it can appreciate against the euro, certainly. I think we can visit 0.7 in euro uh, sterling over the next few weeks. Uh, as the, the, the threat of Grexit uh, rises and, and a continuing, I think we've seen the, the peak in, in uh, European data as well. I think that could flatten out quite soon. Uh, on the other hand, against the dollar, <coughs> I think the dollar is going to enjoy a resurgence soon. We've seen, a, if you like, a, a little uh, blip down in, in the dollar generally, uh, weak figures in the first quarter. I think that was transitory. We're going to see good data surprises in the dollar in the US quite soon, leading to a resurgence of a stronger dollar. So I still think this is topish for cable, <clears throat> and we'll see uh, under 150, maybe even 145 for sterling dollar over the next few weeks. And what about the FTSE? You've said it could go up above 8,000. Do you still think so? Uh, I think there's a possibility we see that. So what's that? Just over 10 percent uh, from here. Uh, but now the sterling markets are going to be mostly at the beck and call of international developments. The idiosyncratic risk of a hung parliament and an, or a disastrous outcome of some type from the election has now disappeared. Now it's going to be on international markets. I don't see any reason for, uh, uh, how can I put it, from the UK stock market to outperform or underperform the S&P, quite frankly, from here. Um, I think, uh, I'm, so I'm broadly, uh, bro broadly, optimistic. I, th I don't see the possible global worries that they're out there, China, etc., some geopolitical problems. I don't see that in all probability derailing the markets. Uh, so 10% could happen, yeah.